What am I missing? Oh! <laughs> What's up, my munchies? We are back for another episode of Mario Maker Munchies. I bet you're wondering, dude, he's got some weird specks on his head. That's exactly right. I am wearing some glasses now because it's really hard for me to look at a computer screen with all the blue light coming out of that computer screen. So I've got these, these glasses here to be able to help me play and uh, hopefully it'll make things even more easier and a lot more fun. Probably not. We are going to dive into a level today that I came across that looks like a lot of fun. It's called Catacombs of the Lost Red Coins. As you guys are gonna see when we dive into this level, it is just really well made. It is really cool. This is the standard by which every level creator should be making their levels. We're gonna dive in, so let's go. Okay, I guess the only place I can go is the pipe. It's been a little bit since I've seen this level, so I actually don't know. I can't remember what goes, what happens here, so. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into, oh, interesting. So there's a mole over there, there's a wiggler over here. And so it's, I think it's telling me that in these doors, there's gonna be some kind of a challenge involving a wiggler. And over here, some kind of challenge involving a mole. So let's go ahead and jump with the mole. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's hope I can make this jump. I might have needed to jump earlier. <laughs> yep. Okay, I gotta go a little quicker there. But seriously, look at the look at the aesthetics of this level. Look at the design. It's just so colorful and really well laid out. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Let's let's be honest here. It's been a while. Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. Go, go, go. No, no, go this way, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, so this part's a little challenging, but it's fun. I really like it. Oh, that last jump there is kind of a clincher. Okay, so I got a checkpoint. What is this? What is this? I don't... Okay, I kind of vaguely remember this. I don't remember it being right after the... Right after the checkpoint there. Okay. Okay. I guess that's two. All right, we got two now. All right, let's go. So that's door number one. Let's go to the wiggler room. Let's see what we got happen. Oh, that is so cool. Look at those wigglers just like going in circles. Oh my goodness. Oh no! So with the checkpoint system that's set up here, I don't lose the coins that I just got earlier. So you can see in the top right corner, I still have the two red coins that I got from before. So it's a really handy system. Again, very well made level that doesn't punish you really badly for messing up and having to start over again. You can kind of just pick up where you left off. Oh. Nope. Okay. Oh, goodness. This is really hard to time. Oh! No! I should have just went for it. What am I doing? Okay. Oh. So hard to time out. Okay, there we go. That wasn't actually too bad. Might have been overcomplicating it a little bit. Oh, look at that! Once the rig wigglers turned red, they they kind of try to follow me, and so they shot up in the air and got stuck on this platform here. Now, <laughs> you can just hop on across. It's pretty cool. All right. 
Checkpoint, three coins down. I have to do this again? You know what, maybe, maybe I don't have to do this room. I, maybe I should just walk to the left or right. You're probably screaming at your screen telling me, what are you doing? Okay, well, either way, we've got a checkpoint. Again, wait a second, where am I supposed to go here? What? I don't remember this. I don't remember it being this kind of complicated to find where you're supposed to go. Well, I better clutch this out here. Right. Bueno, bueno. Okay, so let's not go in this door. Let's see what else is here. Okay, there is more. There's a spiny. What else do we got going on here? And some kind of a platform room. Let's let's take the let's take the spiny room. Oh, so cool. That's right. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> so the level creator design is so that these spinies are not like sticking out really far. They're just kind of up against the wall. So you can just kind of hop on the edge like this. Ooh. But then you have to time it up to be able to jump to the next one. Okay, so right, right when he reaches the top is where I want to go. There we go. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Not really necessary. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, goodness. Wow, these jumps are a little awkward. But still really cool. Oh man. Thousand years later. No. Ugh. Wow. What was I thinking? One eternity later. Oh man. That's really hard. That's actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. You know, let's try a different room. Maybe I need to get a little bit more warmed up here. Oh, okay. Oh, watch out! <laughs> okay, that one looks a little bit more promising. So let's let's do this one. Cool guys don't look at explosions. They blow things up and then walk away. Cool. Oh yeah, that was really easy. Nice. Okay, so we're back here again. You know, I think I did this whole thing wrong. I wasn't supposed to do these two first. I think this thing is set up so that you're supposed to do it in a certain order. Next, next room. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of was gonna happen. That's why I kept just hanging out on the left side for a while. I wanna make sure I didn't hit the wall. Okay. That works. That, that's a lot easier than what I was doing before. Let's just do that, skip that part. Yes, just go. Where am I going? What? Where was I going? What was that? That is the stench of discovery! So it looks like... 
if you just go right away, it's a lot easier to do the jumps. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go over here. Awesome. All right, so that's... How many is that now? Five. We have two more to go. There's this one. The safety coin. But then there's one more. There's one more. What am I missing? So we've done this room. We did... We did this room. I think, right? We did... Yeah, we did... Because it's the fireball one. What am I missing? Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, um, hmm, hmm. There's a door just right here in front of me. And there's a Koopa there that should have tipped me off that that's a room that I should go in. I don't know, I didn't see. I think I was just too distracted with the key door over here, so. Here's the last room and it should be full of Koopas. Indeed it is. Oh, I gotta race this thing? Oh, wow. Gotta race this guy. Let's go. We can do this. We can do this. This is not that hard. Uh-oh. I get a feeling I need this guy, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep going and see if I can, if I can complete it without him. Whoop. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I need. I need the Koopa shell. And I'm stuck. Am I soft locked? No, I'm not. Okay. There's an opening here. <laughs> if I was soft locked, I'd have to start over and lose all those coins. Start all over again. Fortunately, no. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go this way, I guess. Awesome. Perfect. That was that actually wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got it. We got six coins. Uh, I guess I have to go back this way one more time. Oh, oh man. Uh, which one's easier? This one was pretty easy, I think. Keeps down. Slow motion, the more you ignore it, the cooler you look. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's much easier. Okay. We'll just do that room, because that should take us back to here. And there we go. Okay, we got all six. Here's seven. Key door. Pipe. Win! Yoshi! It's never a complete level without a Yoshi. 14 minutes and 17 seconds. Well, you can tell I struggled a little bit with that level. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Catacombs of the Lost Red Coins. It was a lot of fun to play, and uh, it was just a really cool level. Very well made. It's fun, lots of little challenges. None of them are too overly difficult if you've played Mario for a little while. So um, just a lot of fun. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.